Which leg's gonna go back first? Opposite. Opposite leg. Everything happens on the opposite side. Opposite leg back. Lunge and pause right here. Second movement, I want you to turn the back leg side a little bit. This makes it easier to hinge right here. Hands will be down. We hinge our butt back and find the floor. Now, take this knee. I'm gonna slide it through the hole and out wide. 45 degrees out. Now let's collapse on the elbow. Slowly collapse on the shoulder, and then roll to the back. Charge up on the free elbow. Pause here. Make a significant pause here, because here's where you might lose the belt. Then, up, up to the straight hand. Everybody at the same time. Bridge, 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 bridge. Now swoop the leg through. Pause here. Straighten yourself out. Make a fist in this hand, and it's over here, over here, and then stand up. Change hands. If this hands up, which leg? Step back, pause. Turn the back leg sideways in the windshield wiper. Hinge back and find the floor. Now, slide the back leg through the hole. Sit on your butt. Down on the elbow, slowly down to the shoulder, and then roll the back flat. Charge up on the elbow, then the hand, then get the knee under you. Straighten yourself out, make your fists, tension up, rise up. One more rep on each side. Opposite leg, back, pause. Turn the back leg sideways, makes it easier to find the floor. Slide the back leg through the hole, sit on your butt. Collapse down on the elbow, collapse down on the back. Charge up on the elbow, pause. Up to the hand, pause. Bridge, bridge, and pause on top of the bridge, pause on top of the bridge. Swoop the knee through. Straighten yourself out. Make some fists, make some tension. And then rise up. Okay. Which leg goes back first? Opposite leg back. Let's go ahead and lunge back, pause on the ground, stop there. Windshield wipe from the back leg sideways. Hinge back and let's find the floor with the free hand. Slide your rear leg through the hole and out wide. Slowly make your way down to your elbow. Then roll to the back shoulder and then flatten the back. Charge up on the free hand, get up to the elbow, pause there. Now go to the hand, pause there. Bridge up, bridge up, bridge up, pause there. Slide the knee through and let's get the knee down. Straighten yourself out. And let's make some tension and lunge up. Nice. Last one, opposite side. And pause. Turn the back leg sideways. Hinge your hips to the side and find the floor. Slide your rear leg through the hole. Drop down to your butt. Drop down to your elbow. Drop down to your right shoulder. Flat your back. All at the same time, charge up on your elbow. Pause there. Now up to your hand. Now, let's all bridge. Squeeze the butt. Bridge, 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 bridge. Slide the knee through. Straighten yourself out. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Make some fists. Make some fists. Make everything tight. And then finish again. Excellent. Should be enough. And we're all going to swing in three, two, one. Hike. Swing, hike, return, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Two more. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. One more. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Take a break. One, hike, swing, hike, park. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Let's do two more. Three, two, one, hike, swing, hike, park. Last one. Three, two, one, hike, swing, Hike, park, done.
Let's get 10 swings. One, clean. Two, one, clean. 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 Two more. Clean. Clean. One. Clean. 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 Two more. Clean. 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 Two more. Three, two, go. Three, two, go. Change hands. Three, two, go. Three, two, go. Three, two, go. Two more. Two more. Also works for the clean if I'm teaching the clean to somebody and they're if I get all the way through the swing and I just start teaching them the clean what's gonna happen is they're gonna forget everything you first taught them on the swing so I leave this under them. If I'm doing the snatch it's the same thing this I will not swap I will have an exact swing Doing that, I can fix their head, I can fix their, if they're leaning back on top of the swing or anything. Okay, so can we kind of break off in groups of five? Oops, that's a few questions. 
Fix that again, Julie. Yes. One more time. Here, he's going to try to get his wrists up in his crotch and make actual contact with his crotch right there. His head needs to come up a little bit, a little bit, where it's totally neutral. Can you put it in extension where it's bad? And now we're going to kind of fix it and put it in neutral right here, so we're in one long spine. His hips are above his knees and his shoulders are above his hips, so we got that good letter Z right there. Now, can you come up to the very top of the swing and lean back on top? Okay, now look at this. We got a, we got a big problem here. He's leaning back on top of the swing. Can you go through that again? I'm going to stick my hand here, and as he comes up from the swing, go ahead and come up with a lean back. I'm going to tell him not to hit my hand. So can you do that again? And don't hit my hand, because if you hit my hand, you lean back too much. Right? Okay. Come back down again. Hinge. Stand up and don't hit my hands. See what I mean? Okay, so we're just gonna pretend like we have one bell. Imaginary bell. Okay? The first dip of the jerk is there's no hinge on the first part of the jerk. You ever have like a bratty friend in school that kind of came up from the back and whacked you in the back of the knee and tried to make you fall down? So if you notice, it's just a dip of the knees. This does not break. You dip, you dip. And you can only dip until you feel like your heels are coming off the ground. If you get, in, if you get into this, you're gonna feel everything in your knees. So you're only, you can only really dip as much dorsiflexion as you have. So it's dip, dip the knees, dip the knees. That's the first part. There's no break of the hips on the first dip. Second dip's totally different. First dip is just dip, dip. After you dip, you're gonna have to launch. So I want everyone to rise up on the top of your toes, and I know it's hard to balance here, but try to get up on your toes, and as the bell starts kind of coming up, and this creates a 90 degree angle with your arm, that is the perfect time to drop down and land in about a quarter squat as you lock the bell up. Stand up, and drop the bell down. One more time. Let's, let's go piece by piece. Dip, pause. Launch up on your toes. Rise the arm in 90 degrees. At past 90, stomp those heels and get down in a quarter squat. Then rise up, drop down. Okay. Dip, launch, under squat, stand, drop. Five days. Dip, launch, and as soon as that gets 90, you three. Two, one, bang, get out of here. Quarter squat, and then stand up. Change hands, let me see what we got. And we'll gradually speed that up as we go. So as you can see, if it's slow, you gotta wait your hands on So, stage one, dip. Stage two, launch. Stage three, under squat. Stand, drop the belly. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Dip. Launch, under squat, stand, drop, two more, three, two, one, dip, launch, under squat, stand, drop, three, two, one, dip, launch, under squat, stand, drop, one more, three, two, one, dip, launch, under squat, stand, and come down. Okay, one more rep. Michelle, can I have you take like a, a shot? Uh, bells in, doesn't matter what I'm about to tell. Three, two, one, dip, launch, under squat, stand, drop. Let's speed it up. 
One, 